yeah today we are going to see how to find the si unit and dimensional formula for molar specific heat capacity molar specific heat capacity that is uh, also specific heat capacity only heat capacity instead of mass we are going to take it as a uh, molar mass okay heat is directly proportional to molar mass here volume we are maintaining as a constant so cv constant volume and change in temperature so i uh, h is equal to mu times of cv and del t so this is a specific heat capacity mu is the molar mass del t is a temperature h is the heat energy so cv is equal to h divided by mu times of change in temperature okay so h is the heat energy the energy will be joules si unit will be joules it's a mole uh, we are taken as a molar mass instead of taking kg you can take it as a mole and the change in uh, temperature will be the kelvin okay both i am taken as a numerator so joule uh, mole inverse kelvin inverse again what is joule it's a work done work done is equal to force into displacement work done is force into displacement so now we know what is force force is the newton displacement is the meter so mole inverse and kelvin inverse okay what is force force is the mass into acceleration mass si unit will be kg newton is si unit of force kg meter by second square that is called second minus 2 meter 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 power 1 power 1 meter square mole inverse kelvin inverse again second from denominator i am taken as a numerator plus 2 is going to change as a minus 2 so kg meter square second minus 2 uh, it's a mole inverse kelvin inverse the power mass kg uh, dimensional formula for it is a si unit and dimensional formula for molar mass m mass will be m length will be l time will be t power minus 2 mole will be mole only we are taken as a minus 1 kelvin minus 1 it's a si unit of molar mass and this is a dimensional formula for molar mass okay uh, so thank you